they got potato chips. Because I heard that if you eat potato chips outside, they have no calories. No fat either. Oh, my. I can't it. Uh, good job, other guys want you as much as I want you. Funny. I wouldn't have seen that, you know. There's plenty of other women out there. Well, nobody asked you to show any initiative. Besides, I don't trust your initiative. With Luke gone, I got enough on my hands without having... 
to fix things you screw up. Well, what do you want me to do, boss? Mainly stay out of my way. Predictable. I'm sorry. What? You say something? Just clearing my throat. You know, I take consolation in the fact that you've reduced me to a non-person. A zero. Mm. If I remember my high school math, zero is zero. You can't take anything away from that. <laughs> that must be very frustrating, knowing that you can't reject me any more than you already have. You can shut up any time now. On the other hand, I seem to be getting under your skin on an increasingly frequent basis without even trying. Hey. Hey, what's up? What happened? Nothing I didn't expect. Tell me. Mac. What'd the creep do now? Nothing. I ran into him outside of Kelly's. He tried to avoid me and I should have let it go. It's just that Robin is dealing with enough right now, and I thought that I could do something right by giving him a chance to blow up on me when she wasn't around. And he did. What'd he say? He, he warned me that he was too angry to get into it. It's my own fault. No, like, like hell it is. You got enough to put up with than having to deal with, with Scorpio's garbage. What went down? What, what else did he say? that I probably signed Robin's death warrant. Okay, that's cool. Sonny, it's all right. No, it's not. But it will be. Don't put it. The last thing Stone needs is you dumping your judgmental bull all over him. That's what I tried to tell him. If he doesn't want to know how I feel, he should stay the hell out of my face. The kid is dying. And he may have killed Robin. And you have to remind him it's eating him up. Oh, his concern is a little bit late. Oh, listen. Stone loves Robin. Do you think he deliberately did this? Are you sick? No. No, actually, I think Stone is the one who is sick. And because he is a selfish, mindless punk who's got more hormones than sense, he may have infected a beautiful little girl who makes this world a better place to live in. I am ready to kill Stone before the AIDS has a chance to. Well, you, how, how can you even say that? W where do you get off judging Stone? How? You've never taken a chance to even get to know him. Oh, it's not politically correct. It's not compassionate. It's just how I feel. Boy, you have no feelings. Well, how can you say that? You know, I wish I didn't have feelings, Corinthos. Then I, then maybe I could get through the next six months waiting to find out if Robin has a life or not. You know, what Stone did is no different than taking a gun. Okay, putting two bullets in the gun, holding it to her head, spinning in the chamber and pulling the trigger. Oh, but it's right up your alley, isn't it, Sonny? Okay. Mm -hmm. This doesn't help. Tell me about it. Take your judgmental bull with you. Go to hell. Go to hell? Yeah. I'll go to hell. Max! He's hurting, too. Geraldine! Geraldine, don't you make Cora go running after you like that. No one is to leave the play area until after I call supper, you hear me? You who? I thought Robin and Stone would have been here by now. Oh, he might not show up since... Max Scorpio's here! That's really gonna make things better, Sonny. It'll help me. Good morning. Hey, partner. Monday. Better, better. After the last picnic? <laughs> <laughs> Look at this hungry boy standing here. We have no plate of food oh, for him. There you go. <laughs> hey, don't worry about it. I'll keep him on my side of the blanket. Hey, there you are. Hi, Sonny. <laughs> How you doing? Hi, Brenda. Hi. Uh, let me introduce a special friend. This is Sybil. Hi, Sybil. Terry's talked a lot about you. Oh, yeah? What did he say? Well, nothing but good stuff. <laughs>